right, so then Doc uh, gives Marty some money, and he opens up this briefcase, let me give you some money. And they're in 1955. He ends up giving him this one that says 1939 it. So I don't quite understand uh, why he would do that, I guess. Um, anyway, uh, some of these other numbers, there's like duplicates everywhere. He's got all this money, and it's like... 1914, 1914, 1914, 1864, 64. Um, yeah, there's a 1923. He's got a lot of duplicates of num of the money, so I don't handle labels that well. I I did a little research. I'm just confused. I guess maybe they had different prints or something in these years. Um, but anyway, moral of the story: Why when it's 1955? Why does he give Marty money from 1939 and not money from, like, 1950-something? You know, that would make sense. But who knows? Just wanted to point that out, and maybe somebody else can figure out uh, the numbers here in this money thing. Like, why, like, I think 1864, he has in there four times. Um, who knows why? So, uh, right here, um, above the store with the nine on it, <laughs> I mean... There's a nine right here. You can see it later on at the end of the movie, but this one's called Western Auto Stores. Western Auto was founded by George Pepperdine. And he died in uh, 1962 or 26 years before 1988. Uh, it says he was born in Mound Valley, Kansas which is on 37 degrees north, 95 degrees west. 37, 95. He also is the founder of Pepperdine University. And he founded it in 1937. And then right here it has a U.S. Army recruiting thing and it says second floor. I know you can't read it, but Second floor, so they have another two reference. And then it says Ruth's Frock Shop. And I had no idea what a frock shop was. So I just typed in frock on Wikipedia. And literally the only frock that is on Wikipedia is uh, this guy right here. Here, I'll just type it in again just to prove it. F-R-O-C-H, frock or frotch, I don't know. Redirected from frotch. There's absolutely nothing. Just this guy. Right? Well, I just find this amazing because he was born on July 2nd or 2 7 And he was born in 1977. Which makes him 37 years old. So, I mean, 77 is July 2nd. And then 1977... He's ranked by Box Rec as the number seven pound for pound boxer in the world. I mean, number what number seven? And then up here it says on twenty third May two thousand thirteen, Frock became the WBA Unified Champion after f defeating whatever his name is. But May twenty third is like I said, the Hermes Trismegistus Day. Uh, 222 days left until the end of the year. And then right here, Biff throws Valvoline cans on Marty. And Valvoline is, uh, was with this company, Ashland, and it was founded by Paul G. Blazer, who died December 9th, 1966 and on December 9th there's 22 days left until the end of the year and then it says right here Valvoline is one of the largest producers of motor oil in the United States Valvoline was founded by Dr. John Ellis uh, who formulated a petroleum based lubricant in 1866 and trademarked the Valvoline name in 1873 so 73 66 again you also have the store over here uh, called Studebaker. 
and it literally says something about 55. Great deals, 55 something. And then Studebaker above it. And Studebaker was founded in 1852 and incorporated in 1868. And then it, so 1852 is, is founded. And then it ended on May of 1967, which is 115 years, which is 11.5 or 55. And then it has the little. Uh, something about 55 sign underneath it. And I thought most of the X's were in the future, but this girl is literally wearing a shirt that has X's all over it. X, X, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 X's that I can see on it. And then Biff's harassing her, and she said someone already asked her the dance, and she's going with Calvin Klein. And let's check out Calvin Klein. He's born on November 19th, which is 9-11, or 999, or 666. So, in no November 19th of this year, 2015, he will be 73 years old. Right here, old Biff is trying to show new Biff what the sports almanac can do, and he turns on the radio, and it says, UCLA tra trails, uh... 17 to 16, um, it's 4th and 11 with only 18 seconds left. So you got 17 to 16, which is 27 plus 6 is 33. And then UCLA ends up kicking a field goal and winning it. So it would be a 36 reference again. Um, 18 is the 666. Um, UCLA, oh, it's 4th and 11. That's a 44. And then UCLA, if you add up the letters UCLA, it adds up to 37. Right here, Marty tells everybody uh, Biff gets knocked out, and then Marty says, it's okay, I know CPR. And they say, what's CPR? And if you add up CPR, it's 37 as well. And then right here, the time machine gets struck by lightning. And when it disappears and goes back in time, uh, these symbols show up. So it's totally an upside down. It's 9 9 or 6 6. And what brings Marty a message. And they said they had it for a really long time. It says they've had it 70 years, 2 months, and 12 days. Um, and 2 months and 12 days is 73 days. And that would make it September 1st, 1885. And September 1st is the 244th day of the year. So that's an 88 reference again. And right here it shows on the marquee, The Atomic Kid. And The Atomic Kid was a movie based on a story by Blake Edwards. And Blake Edwards died age 88. Oh, uh, that's pretty much, I mean, there's a ton of other stuff that I didn't really mention. I was kind of, uh, just kind of going number-wise, I guess. But, uh, I guess there's a lot, a lot of nines and stuff that I noticed later on as I was going through this. But, uh, anyway, that's where I'm going to end it. Um, yeah, it, who knows, we'll see, I guess, what, what's coming up. But this movie definitely, I think, um, predicts a lot of stuff that people don't realize, so, uh. Anyway, um, have a great night, and uh, thanks for watching.